Hi, my name is Selena Lowe. I am the Director of Learning for STEM. I'm also a chemistry teacher here at Bain School. Um, STEM is science, technology, engineering and maths. Uh, so quite a large area of the curriculum. Our practical teams have uh, purpose-built rooms in both Evershed and Linnell and we have a really rounded STEM curriculum here. We embellish students, we want students to become really good at STEM ambassadors so we have a lot of um, in class as well as extracurricular here. Um, in Linnell and in Evershed we have four purpose-built laboratories um, so everything you will remember from when you were at school, we have in those four laboratories. Um, we cover all three areas of science, uh, that biology, chemistry and physics, right from year seven, because we believe it's important that students have a really well-rounded idea of what science is. So each site also comes with our wonderful uh, laboratory technicians who are really knowledgeable and helpful and come into lessons and will help your child along their science journey. We also have um, a, a large amount of um, technology that we use and iPads are a big part of our curriculum and we have a lot of app support areas that we use, um, apps like the periodic table um, and another one, a uh, construction kit for physics and there are a few others that we use as well. All of our students having an iPad is an essential part of the science curriculum um, because it helps them to understand m processes in science and molecules in science that you will never physically see but we have some really great apps that help them along the way. Students have the opportunity to study triple science at Key Stage 4 um, where they study in depth in biology, chemistry and physics and this leads on to our great um, Key Stage 5 curriculum that we have as well. We're really proud of the um, Key Stage 5 curriculum and we have high numbers of students opting for it and we also have some really good results. We have had students go into medicine most years from our Key Stage 5 curriculum and We've also had students go to study um, subjects within science in the USA. As well as all our hardworking teachers and students in lessons, we also have an extracurricular and we have a science club and our science club runs every single week. During our science club, we recently decided that all students were going to cover the Crest Award. So it actually means as well as coming to science club, they'll actually get a certificate um, at the end of it so it feels like they've actually gained something else rather than just coming to a club. So they do a bronze, a silver and a gold and they'll work through this as they go through year seven onwards. This will require your students to have this analytical mind that is required of a, a good scientist. Uh, they will get to plan, carry out, conclude and evaluate their own uh, practical and write about it and earn this national acclaimed award. Technology would like to welcome all new students into our wonderful technology um, bases. At Evershed we have what we call the construction block, um, a great space for your child to be able to learn all parts of technology. And then at Linnell there is also workshops and there are two food technology rooms. In year seven, students get to learn about isometric drawing. Isometric drawing is just the start and it will allow your child to go on to design, develop and produce their own project throughout year seven during their design technology lessons. In year eight and nine, students will do a combination of food technology and design technology. In design technology, they will use things like Tinkercad, uh, which will enable them to go on to use 3D printing to produce some products of their own. And in food technology, not only will they be doing some healthy, nutritious cooking, but they'll learn about the nutrition and balanced diets, um, which will help them further on in life. There's also the importance of hygiene and students will learn about this in terms of food hygiene and how this is going to help to keep them safe in their future life too.
Students are always encouraged to think about the environmental impact in both design technology and in food technology. ICT plays an integral part in everybody's everyday life these days and it also plays a part in our school education. Our ICT department have purpose-built rooms in both Evershed and in Linnell. Um, students get to have ICT lessons from year eight onwards. There are three distinct strands in ICT that students get to look at over the time that they are studying ICT here at Abbott Bain. Computer science, which is all about software building. Information technology, which is all about the World Wide Web and students get to make their own web page. And digital literacy. Digital literacy allows students to use things like word processing and spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentations. In a world where we are generally using Androids and iPads, this is very important for the world of work in the future. Students can choose to do ICT at GCSE and A-level here at Abbott Bain. And at the moment, GCSEs are very well uptaken. Um, they always have full classes and quite often it's over. So if it's ICT is something that your child is interested in, then this is certainly the place to do that. Maths is also a large part of the STEM curriculum, but Mrs Sutcliffe, who is the head of maths here at Abbott Bain, will talk in more depth about our maths curriculum.